Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do a plane strain problem and in this plane strain problem we are going to uh, two small discs getting in contact with each other and that's what actually you see the stresses develop uh, between the two discs. So this is a problem we are going to do and it will be on a plane strain so it will be interesting. So uh, guys uh, uh, before starting this problem uh, we uh, uh, conduct one session on 2D continuum alignment overview so before coming to this session I will strongly recommend you to go to 2D continuum alignment overview so just to brief you in 2D continuum overview what we are given uh, mainly uh, we explain plane strain plane stress and then axis symmetry element so plane stress element is a thin structure where uh, the thickness in the third direction is smaller one so the stress developed in a third direction will be a zero that is a plane stress plane strain is very thick structured where the strain is constant or zero in third plane and axis symmetry is anything uh, uh, 360 degree rotation uh, structured and the load so that is just brief what uh, what we are uh, shown on the 2D continuum element but I'll strongly recommend you to go to 2D continuum element uh, before getting into this video. Now plane strain example what particular problem we are going to do in this uh, today's session uh, will be having a disc over disc so in this plane strain example what we are going to take is uh, a take a, a thin structure thin now if you take uh, thin structure there are a lot of lot of thin structure is like a, even a DVD disc which get rotated in our laptop even that is a plane stress problem where you have a thin disc and then um, the loading is in plane so if it's rotated all the the centrifugal forces getting out also you take a, a watch you see in watch there are a lot of small components you see small gears also now we can model those small gear, uh, small thin gears, uh, it is a plane strain problem. Now we don't have much time to really build this type of complex geometry in Abaca CAE. Uh, there are also a lot of disks uh, 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 in this mechanism. So we are taking a two disk, uh, they are just, just, just in touching uh, condition and if by chance uh, 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 one of the discs just moved down a uh, slightly like even a 0 0.01 millimeter how much is the stress generated within a disc so it's an interesting problem so we are going to use a, a unit ton millimeter newton and second uh, there will be two discs the uh, the 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 it's a inner uh, diameter is four millimeter for both the discs Smaller disc is a 10 millimeter diameter, bigger disc is a 16 millimeter diameter and then is a, if a smaller disc move by 0.1 then how much is stress is generated in this. The typical car, uh, the steel property what we are going to use just this is a demonstration purpose. So uh, we'll just quickly go to the problem, we'll start this. So let me uh, set the directory so I'll just just set a directory here so we'll start this problem I've got CA 6.113 I'll just quickly first create a small disk so I'll say small disk now here you have to choose 2D planar, deformable shell and then size 50 is fine for me. So I'll just create at 0, 0, 1 point then I'll select a dim first thing and then I know that the inner diameter is 4. So I give radius 2.0 that's I quickly done it. I'll create one more. So I'll just select this, I'll just select center. Then bigger disk is a 10 millimeter. So radius is 5.0. So that is done. So we are done now. So we quickly create a geometry. I'll just quickly uh, create one datum plane in X, XZ. 
um, this is mainly because I just want to cut the geometry so when I define a contact it will be better for me so I just from here uh, XY offset I just created a, a XZ plane and then I'll just quickly say face using a datum plane I'll just select this datum plane and then done a partition so quickly we are done it we'll also cut it now what we'll do we'll create a metal property it will be s s normal steel you can use copper and all those property but this is just a demonstration purpose we are going to demonstrate mainly for uh, plane stress problem so 210 e power 03 MPA 0.3 poisons ratio we have done that uh, we'll create a section plane stress and then we have selected that now I'll quickly assign that so I assign a section here I'll select this both and I just assign that so we are done with smaller disk I'll quickly create a bigger disk big disk I'll just give some name 2d deformable and then I'll first create 0 comma 0 I'll select this and then 2 comma 0 and then I'll again select this center point and then I'll say earlier was 10 this will be like a 8 comma 0 so this is like a 16 so we have done that we'll just quickly created this will create similar uh, similar like this exit plane here at 0 offset now I can quickly cut that so I just uh, done a cutting operation just for selection of surfaces and all this and I'll assign both are plane strain same metal property so I'll just assign the same thing same section to this so that's what actually we are done so we are assigned both now now I have just some list I'll just quickly go through that list so we created the geometry it's not pipe it's a disk we created metal property steel thickness we'll go to the instant so we'll quickly create an instant here go to assembly create instance we select both and then we are created now they are just concentrated we need to move one instant so big instant now one is uh, 10 millimeter diameter other is 16 so I'll just move this by 0 comma minus 13 so oh no I'll just move I'll select bigger one initially 0 comma 0 and then finally 0 comma minus 13 so I say ok now we have moved the board disk now couple of things will do uh, this bigger disk uh, uh, center portion will be constrained in all degree of freedom end caster so it, it just have two degree of freedom x and y and the smaller disk will constrain about x and then will give a y displacement small displacement of 0 0.01 so let's go and then create some set so bigger disk will say center con so we'll select this this edge and then bottom edge. no 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 not, not this yes done so we can give constant here uh, I'll also create one more set top surface so I'll select this edge top one so when I define a contact it will be uh, easier for me now for smaller disk also I'll create one set small con and I'll select this done I'll also create master master surface so you can select this disk so 
so we selected the bottom one now what we'll do uh, we'll quickly um, uh, create an interface property so we'll uh, give a friction here we'll give friction penalty based friction 0 0.2 will define an interface which is a contact surface to surface standard now I can select there is no surface so I have to select this so I'll select that this is a master now for slave node region uh, oh there's some issue I'll create again so I'll say contact surface to surface I selected the master done then I'll select this one done so surface to surface finite sliding friction we are connected so we are done that now I'll create a quickly a step so I'll say create a step uh, disk over disk so we created that we'll switch on NL jump on disk contact um, this is a nonlinear geometry problem guys then we'll start with initial step something like a 0.01 I'll suggest to start with slower one and then we'll quickly define a boundary condition so we'll say big disk uh, where we are to define the end caster so we'll go and say big disk center and then we'll define its end caster end caster here will be x and y both translation constraint then I'll say smaller disk uh, for that I'll have only one constraint which is uh, x constraint one minute one minute I think I'll just have to edit it so I'll just first delete it because uh, this is gone into a step condition I just want before step so I just want the initial condition big disk end caster condition I'll just go center con I just selected end caster we are done we'll create a small disk uh, for that I'll select small function and I'll say put y is equal to 0 so we define that I'll create one more boundary condition is a displacement which will be under the step um, it will be smaller disk and then I'll be giving minus 0 0.01 a small displacement so small displacement it just pushing down how it is done so guys we are done everything we are just uh, st uh, one step is meshing so I'll just do meshing part wise smaller disk I'll just put some small point uh, 0 0.5 I'll say or we'll put uh, point 0.1 point 0.1 looks better because then you'll get a good fine mesh you need, need a good fine mesh to really get the stresses there uh, will then immediately assign this this all element is a I guess it will be it is a plain stress so no issue we'll take a bigger disk again point 0.1 and then we'll mesh it so just meshing it it completed one region and I think it's becoming very fine so let's have point uh, two five we'll have or 
this one also will have 0.25 So assembly we'll see how, how they looks. So quite a bit good fine mesh to really capture the stresses here. So we are given everything. We define two disks. Uh, we define um, uh, metal property, plane strain problem. We given this constraint. So we'll quickly create a job. So disk contact. We'll quickly do a data check now. Let's wait for a data check. So we are in a data check. Uh, in data check, there is no issue for pre-processor related error. Now we'll just submit a run and just wait for results. Yes, we'll see. So results are out. It just completed the analysis. So we'll just check the results, how it looks. So now we can see how is the stress pattern so even if you see a small displacement, there is some significant amount of stress is generated. So if I consider something like a <coughs> 220 as a yield, you see there are quite a bit area which is get into a plasticity zone. So it's a good way to start actually I looked into this uh, this problem now you can see it just just building up high stress very localized high stress but that even a small area is getting into a, a, a plasticity region so that's what uh, guys we want to tell you uh, is uh, how you can even <coughs> just going back to problem like the something a small disk uh, if you want to model this problem in three dimensional, it will take a lot of huge effort because then suppose a similar problem, if you want to do in uh, 3D hex element, then across thickness, you want to keep three element, then to m make a aspect ratio good, you have to have a very high fine mesh and then you have to do this. But this you can very simple using just converting into plane stress and you can do this problem. So that's all actually guys from our side. Yeah, so we completed the the 2D continuum uh, plane stress, plane strain, and uh, axisymmetry element basic theory overview. We also done a plane strain problem. We have done a plane stress problem. Now the only thing remaining is axisymmetry problem, which we'll be doing and then mm, giving you that learning also. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, this is a non-profit project. We require your support to take this project forward. So don't forget to subscribe us and like us. Thank you. Bye bye.